Sufakan is a city and enclave of the Emirate of Sarjah, located on the east coast of the United Arab Emirates, facing the Gulf of Oman and geographically surrounded by the Emirate of Fujairah. The city is the second largest on the east coast after Fujairah City is set on the Bay of Korfakan, which means Creek of Two Jaws. mga kuya so I'm here sa Shin Cheer Park here in Corfacan Sharjah so first stop namin is Sheer Park so ito na po yun uh, na discover ko mga bundok pala dito sa UAE yung mga solid talaga siya na bato though wala siyang puno unlike sa Pilipinas So, ano siya? Uh, solid na mga bato. Ganyan, no? So, at my back, oh, yeah, solid yeah, yeah. na bato siya. May mga kabayan tayo nandito. Papapicture. Andun sila. Ito yung falls. Tour-tour lang tayo. Tapos, ayun yung mosque nila. Ayun yung mosque nila. Tapos, ano lang siya. Maliit na park. And then, yun, medyo malamig. Pero, hindi ako masyado. Nakakardigan lang ako. Ayan. Ginagawa pa yung ibang, ano eh, yung ibang sides. Pero ayan. Dinadevelop pa siya guys. Siguro bago lang to. And this is my first time going here uh, in Corpacan. So and then first time ko lang din sumama sa uh, isang tour. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, lamig. Nice. Very nice. So, video bujo mo na tayo dito, guys. And um 30 minutes lang kami pwede dito. And then next stop na. Bye-bye. Shis Park is a recreational park near the village of Shis in Kor Fakan, Sarja. It includes a children's play area, 32 shaded sitting areas for families, and an outdoor theater that can accommodate 70 people, and of course, a barbecue area.
So yan, umaakit ako ngayon sa agdan. And <laughs> nakakahingal siya. Ah, uh, ang taas pala dito. Parang hiking, trekking. So ma mataas pala siya. <laughs> Para kang umaakyat ng Lourdes Grotto ng Baguio. <laughs> tayo aakyat yung isa pa <laughs> ang pakataas pala nito tapos pakitid na ng pakitid yung yung hardana niya try natin kung anong meron sa taas pero I think it's the same view from what I'm baka hindi na gumagana yung utak ko kasi siya <laughs> ang kapagod to guys <laughs> I'm not prepared for this. Ah, ayan. Basically, park lang din siya sa taas. Ayan. So, I guess dito na ako. May ginagawa pa siya. Actually, din develop pa siya. So, mukhang bagong park lang to. And, as you can see, Tinitib ang lalaki ng bundok tinitibag nila yung mga bundok so meron man tumutubong puno mga desert trees na lang yon and ayan de develop pa yung lugar so I guess that's it for Sheer Park um yeah thumbs up so far so good uh, next stop tayo guys bye bye Hindi ko alam kung talaga ang tawag dito eh. Tatanong natin kay kuya mamaya. Pero hindi ko alam kung ano ibig sabihin nito. Yan. So, let's see later. I'll ask kuya, uh, yung aming tour host, kung ano tong pinuntahan naming second stop. Or, uh, i-check ko na lang dun sa aming itinerary later. Okay? Hi guys! Next stop! Hindi ko pa alam kung anong pangalan nito. <laughs> Basta alam ko second stop namin to. Lalagay ko na lang dyan sa 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 screen, sa subtitle or caption whatsoever kung anong tawag dito. Basta second stop ko to. <laughs> Ay, yung vlogger na hindi ko alam kung ano yung pinuputan ko. Pasensya na. I think, dinadevelop pa rin tong lugar na to. 
Ah, uh, kami lang ang turist dito eh. So, parang uh, batane sa atin or or benget ganun na ano, ambiance. So, they're still developing it. Ang ganda lang ng puno, 'di ba? Siguro din ginawa nila to as a uh, part of additional um, attraction dito sa village na gagawin nila. Naman para may kung may mga bibiling ng property dito, they can have an access, they have their own attraction here, they have their own leisure place. So, yan guys. Ayan yung ano niya. Yan, yan siya. So I think this is the best spot for me to photograph this location and see you later for my third stop. Bye bye. Okay guys, so we're here at the dam, the 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 walk and the blah, blah. <laughs> the boat. So we're going for kayaking. the boats so this is the dam uh, this is our third stop already and this is the dam so we're gonna go for kayaking so guys magka kayak tayo solo kayaking and let's try Ito na yung ticket ko. So, sabi ng ating brother, ingat-ingat lang daw sa cellphone. So, konting snapshots lang ako guys. And, thank you! So, yun guys, I'm already with my life vest. So, kayak tayo dito guys. Uh, I guess hindi naman ako magbe-video. Uh, experience ko na lang to. Namnamin ko na lang yung scenery. Kasi gano'n din naman eh, baka malaglag ko tong cellphone ko, wala akong ma-vlog sa inyo, diba? So, these are the boats. Yan, and the guys, our brothers, who are working here. Yan, so, I'll be back. Bye-bye. I'm back. Andito ako sa gitna ng aking kayak. There you go. And, ayan. Nag-stop ako mag-paddle para, <laughs> andito lang ako sa gitna. <laughs> ah, ayoko pagod yung sarili ko, no? <laughs> Ang sakit kaya ito sa braso. <laughs> so, as you can see, ayan. Ayan siya. Ayan. Very nice, di ba? So, paddle-paddle ako, okay? Para makagala naman ako, maka iba naman ako ng background. Okay, bye! Ayan. So, tanggalin muna natin yung ating mask. So, nakalipat na ako sa kabilang side. Ayan. Hinahayaan ko lang na ano yung So, at my other side is the station. Ayan. Tapos doon sa kabila is the dam. Ayan. So, video mo na ako. Kayaking in Dubai. Nice siya guys. Uh, if you want to have a relaxation, um, touch base with the nature even if you're in Dubai the main city 
So, yung mga ganitong tour, they will bring you back to the nature, experience, adventure while doing this. And with this good place, yan. Kahit na yung mga bundok wala talagang, wala talagang mga puno. So, namimiss ko lang yung Pilipinas. It's because nagha-hiking ako doon but then uh, yeah, iba pa rin talaga yung mga bundok sa Pilipinas though maliliit lang siya pero I mean you're really close to nature yan see but it's it's still good enough and uh, nandito ako sa UAE and it, it's a desert country so what what should I expect ba diba? mga uh, desierto and rock formation so yun, thumbs up Al Rafisa Dam Originally built in the 1980s, the dam has had an upgrade with a new visitor center and rest area. Travel time from Sarja to Corfacan has been reduced to 45 minutes due to the new road, allowing more visitors to enjoy the serene pleasures of the area where a large clear lake with boating facilities is overlooked by the magnificent Hahar Mountains. The scenery is unmatched with the sandstone mountain range looming over a pure azure reservoir with its accompanying tranquil green landscapes and man-made waterfall, perfect for nature lovers and outdoor enthusiasts. So guys, napagod ako magsaguan. <laughs> Naminto muna ako. And, ayan. So, this is our third stop. Bye-bye. It is the site of Corfacan Container Terminal and the only natural deep sea port in the region and one of the major container ports in the United Arab Emirates. The port of Corfacan faces the Emirate of Sarja's eastern seaboard, extending connections with Asia and the Far East. Surrounded by the Emirate of Fujairah, this beach town is one of the most visited Sarja tourist places for leisure and adventure. Al-Rabi Tower and Hiking Trail Al-Rabi Tower marks the start and end of a stunning hiking trail overlooking Corfacan and the bay. The tower is a historical monument built in 1915 as part of the defense network for Corfacan. Considered as the first of the series to watch towers located in the city of Corfacan against any trespassers. It boosts a multi-shape geometric designs and its outstanding, stunning views and landscapes of the city. Hi guys! So I'm here with our tour host, Wakaz. Wakaz. So he's helping us around, uh, going uh, around Corfacan. Now we are on Rabi Tower. Mm -hmm. Also mountain hiking track is over there. Mm -hmm. And also from here you can take sea view. And the, that one, Rabi Tower, you can see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next, we are going to beach. Okay, beach. beach. One of the beach, one of the famous beach. Mm -hmm. And then waterfall is over there. And the amphitheater building is also over there. Okay. Okay. We are going to can next you to can visit. please invite uh, Filipinos? Any tours, invite yes. them. Yeah. I am working with any tours. Mm -hmm. Is uh, 
really good uh, company mm -hmm. so you have to book with ni tours to visit khorfa khan uh, jabal jais rasul khaima overnight camping also hatha tour and different type of tour you can visit okay okay, okay? on uh, facebook and instagram yeah i okay? will put the their um, social media details uh, as our caption ni tours ni tours yes. all right okay thank you so much okay. thank you bye so bye, much. bye. This trail is often referred as a beginner's hike. However, be sure to take plenty of water and snacks and wear shoes suitable for rocky terrain. <laughs> Pero ganda. Nice view, oh. I'm on top of the world. Look at this spot. Ta-da! Nice. There's the port. Mountains. Real estate. Nakakahinga <laughs> lang. <laughs> so let's check out what's still upstairs. Yan lang yung mga puno dito guys Yan yung mga desert trees So Ayan Matinik siya si matinik uh, Para siyang pine tree Pero matinik As in super uh, Yan pang Pang desierto talaga guys And ayan Mga bato Dinedevelop nila Siguro sobrang dami ng bundok na dito sa UAE kaya dinedevelop nila yung ano yung yung lugar so uh, may trekking pa dun guys ayun ang trekking uh, I don't think kakayanin ko pa pumunta dun hindi muna tayo pass muna tayo sa, sa hiking ngayon so tanaw tanaw na lang muna tayo dito lang tayo sa lower part guys So, that's the Al-Rabi Tower. Akala ko naman, malaking tower. Liit lang pala. <laughs> so, I'm not choosy. I'm still thankful. I'm blessed. Um, at least, nakapunta ako dito, di ba? At a very low cost. So, that's the port. Port area. And then, ayun, still uh, real estate development. I think that's the Corfacan Beach. Yung may port area na yun. So, dandan lang tayo. Baka ako madulas. <laughs> Medyo matagal-matagal na tayo walang practice sa hiking, sa trekking. So, just be careful going down. So, yun lang guys. They're still um, fixing this site for tourist, additional tourist attraction here sa Corfa Khan uh, that part of uh, this is part of government of Sarja, so another UAE Emirate and yan, may bugambilya din siya guys so this is the end of our fourth stop and thank you so much uh, let's wait for the, our fifth stop, bye bye Corfacan Amphitheater and the Waterfalls, a must-see cultural destination. Soak up local culture at the impressive Corfacan Amphitheater. Inspired by Roman architecture, it has rapidly become a celebrated local landmark. The newly built amphitheater covers over 1,700 meters and can accommodate over 3,500 expectators. It was designed with a state-of-the-art cooling system, making it the ideal outdoor venue for upcoming events. 
Hungry visitors can also sample delicious dishes at the amphitheater's restaurant and cafe. Korkofan uh, Amphitheater. Amphitheater. <laughs> so, ganyan siya. So, sa atin, sa Pilipinas, ang tawag dito, plaza. So, ayan, may mga kalamod Greek, inspired from uh, Greece, yung mga towers nila. Ayan. So, there. It's nice. For a certain uh, plaza. Yeah. But basically, it's still new. Not so, not historical at all. So, this is the amphitheater. A magnificent 45 meter high waterfall cascades down next to the amphitheater. Although the waterfall is man made, it was carved out of natural rock and is often illuminated at night. The structure was built with viewing windows at the top, which are sometimes open to the public. From there, visitors can watch water flow down the rock. Both amphitheater and waterfall face Corfacan's shimmering bay. So guys, ito yung Corfacan waterfall. Ayan. So, man-made siya. Hindi po siya natural waterfall. So, ayan, ganyan. Pinadaan lang siya sa bundok. Tapos may water supply sa taas. So, nice attraction. Locals love to take a day trip here for a pleasant change from Sarja weather. Lined with palm trees and facing glittering waters, the sand makes a great playground for adults and children with swing sets and football goal posts. Don't forget to take a ball with you, okay? If you're looking for a quick dose of nature without the hassle of traveling too much, just go to Corfacan.